Hello, darlings. Um, do you like my fascinator? This little hat is called a fascinator. Um, this video is actually just like a story time. I got married, guys. That's, by the way, I got married. There's my tattoo ring. Um, we just got this done last Wednesday. It's Monday. We got married last Monday, so we've been married for a week. I was supposed to have footage for you guys, but what had happened was, that's why I'm doing this um, quick little Caesar salad mukbang. I've never, I'm taking the fascinator off, guys. I've never, I, I, I bought it for my wedding, but I didn't end up wearing it. It might have been too much. So this is my opportunity to wear it. Anybody want it? I'll send it to you. Comment below. Anyways, before I get into this story time, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, I got salad and fries because I have this thing where I'm greedy. But I'm trying better choices now, and I've been exercising every day. So... I'm on the road, guys. So anyway, about three weeks ago, my, well, he was my fiance at the time. My fiance said, hey, why don't we get married on Fat Man's birthday? Now, Fat Man's birthday is April 8th. So I was like, okay, we'll get married on Fat Man's birthday. I had already, now I don't know if everybody knows, but I've been married previously, so I already had my divorce decree, which you need in order to get remarried if you've already been married before. So I already had my divorce decree, went to Upper Marlboro uh, Courthouse or whatever. Well, not the actual courthouse, but the other little building for marriages and stuff. And apply for our uh, marriage license, right? And we were gonna go ahead and just go to the courthouse and get married. Um, his birthday was a Monday, April 8th was a Monday, so I was gonna have the kids stay out of school. We go to the courthouse, get married, okay? Boom. So, two weeks prior to the wedding, I went up to the courthouse, applied for our marriage license, and they said, okay, well, the day of your wedding, when you come up here, come to our office, we'll print out your, um, your actual marriage license, you know, after the ceremony. I said, bet, right? Fast forward to April 8th, y'all. Listen, April 8th, we are getting ready. We are grooming. We are getting our lives. We are getting haircuts. We are bleaching. We are putting mud masks on. We are just, we are just having the time of our lives getting ready, y'all. And we are just, and then, my groom is shaving his arms because he wants his tattoos to look good and your pictures. Like, we're really doing the absolute most. The kids got their hair. Ava got her hair braided that weekend. Fat Man got his dress maintenance. Like, it was a whole show. So, we're getting ready. And we're thinking, okay, they do marriage ceremonies till 4.30. <laughs> I have on like a blazer dress. Mind you, well, I'll get into that. I had on a black blazer dress with this belt, um, like a Versace belt that cinched the waist. And I had a little cleavage out. And I had these cute little Catherine Malandrino shoes, but they're so, let me show you. I'm looking at them right now. They're so. They're eight. They cut too small, baby, because I really wear seven and a half, and I wear I wear eight. Um, but I get eights because because I have a bunion on my left foot, and so I wear eights. These Catherine Maladrinos are cut too small, so I have to give them away. But let me show you the shoes. Hold on. So imagine a black blazer 
with these shoes, my black belt with the Versace belt, and I was gonna wear that. I ended up not wearing that up to the um, courthouse, but y'all, listen. Oh my God, this jumpsuit is gonna choke me. Oh, mind you guys, this jumpsuit is on my website, readysetbinge.com. However, it currently says, if you were to go in there right now, it currently says, one size fits all. It's big everywhere, but this is the only opening. I have to measure this. Because I'm like, for my curvy girls and my thick sisters, they, I mean, I can hardly kind of put it on like my size and a little bit bigger maybe. But it currently says, because my manufacturer said that it's one size, but it's clearly not one size. Fits all. So I need to do some measurements and put an accurate sizing on here for this. Anyways, so we get all ready to go to this marriage ceremony on our son's birthday, Monday, April 8th. We're all walking into the courthouse, me, Jarrell, fat man of Ava, and my husband-to-be. So excited. We get to the window, and she's like, marriage ceremonies are over. Excuse me, my whole heart dropped. Like, I was like, because we wanted to get married on our son's birthday. It, mean, it meant a lot to us because he, his birth was like a change for a lot of things in our lives. And um, it was just special to us. And we didn't want to wait an, another, you know, next year because this was the perfect time. We're doing so good. And so I just felt like a failure. And so my husband and B didn't say a word. And usually he got something to say. He didn't say a word. I knew he was disappointed though. So we get to the car and I'm on my phone and I'm trying to figure something out. And I had a friend that actually worked up there was the county clerk, but he's no longer the county clerk. Cause I was like, he, I can tell him to do me a solid and marry me, like marry us like right now if he was the county clerk still, but he was no longer in office. So then, this is why we work so well. I'm like, my, we're driving back home and my heart is racing and I'm like, oh my God, like this isn't gonna happen today. My husband-to-be says, hey, can't we just get an ordained minister or someone to marry us, like can we just pay somebody to marry us? And I was like, oh my gosh. I started Googling the best people to do weddings, that do weddings. And this guy's information came up. There was a few people's information. I reached out to a few people. Whoever, it was like, whoever freaking contacted me first, it was happening. This guy, two people contacted me back, but this guy was first. He had been doing it for 20 years. He had all of his um, certifications and all of that. And he said it'll be 2.50. He said he'll meet us at 6 p.m. at the National Harbor. So by that time, we're back home, right? I changed my clothes because I'm uncomfortable. I'm like so uncomfortable. So I just throw on some jeans and a t-shirt. And I'm like, oh shit. I gotta go back to the courthouse to get our actual wedding certificate because they thought we were gonna be getting married there and I could just pick it up at the window because I already had the application from weeks before. So, mind you, that office closed at four. I got to that, I got back to that office at 3.50. Like I, that was such, and I had so much anxiety that day. I ran back, I, cause I dropped my kids off at my mom's house cause they wanted to go to grandma's house. Cause that was the plan. We were gonna get married, go, to, go out to eat or something, go to grandma's house, something like that. It didn't happen. So, and because I had to go back to the courthouse, I was like, okay, I'm gonna change my clothes, take the kids to my, my parents' house. And then my fiance stayed in the house and relaxed just to see how this all panned out. <laughs> and I got to the courthouse at 3.50, right before they closed. Like when I got there, all the lights were off. 
no one was behind the counters. I was like, oh my God, I hate the government. They always leave early. But there was, a, no, there was a man standing there that was just like a customer like me. And he was, I was like, is somebody here? And he was like, yeah, she'll be right back. I was like, thank God. So, anyways, the woman comes out. I give her my application that I had, that I had gotten previously, the weeks before. She printed off my marriage certificates and everything that I needed for um, the minister, the pastor, to marry us. So, I was so relieved when I walked out of that freaking courtroom and I had the marriage certificate in my hand and I still had till six o'clock to get married at the National Harbor. My mom said, me and the kids are eating. You and Alonzo should just go ahead Maybe grab some dinner since you're at the harbor. Excuse me. We said, fuck it. Because that wasn't our plan. We we're going to have the kids there. And it was, but everything doesn't go as planned sometimes, you guys. And I love that I have a problem solver with me. Like, when you need a quick fix, he always has the best suggestions. So I came back home. And I was like, I really don't feel like putting on what I had on earlier. So I literally put on some black tight ass jeans. Had the, um, I had the lace little bralet thing on top. They were high-waisted black jeans and I had my, I had the Versace belt. Then I had on a tan blazer, which you'll see on my social media pictures. That's what I ended up wearing. And my fiance, well, my husband now, he changed his clothes too because he had on black slacks, Chelsea boots. He had on a button up, a black button up. He looks so svelte. What are those people called? That people pay them to kill him? Like a hitman. Like the ones in the movies, not the ones you see on IG. <laughs> anyway. He ended up just putting on some jeans and a nice black sweater. And he kept his Chelsea boots on, yeah. So we were kind of cash, which I loved it because it just ended up being better. Um, everything ended up being better. So we got there, we met the guy in front of the Gaylord at the National um, Harbor. He married us in front of the Gaylord Hotel. And then we ended up going out to dinner right afterwards. And um, as soon as I walk, as soon as me and my husband walk into the restaurant, we hear somebody say, hey, beautiful. And I'm like, who? Who is calling me beautiful? Who is that? Some, it sounds somebody familiar. It ends up being my freaking cousin. She works there. She's like managing the place. So it couldn't have, I mean, it couldn't have been better. Like it was a better setting. Cause if anybody has ever seen the National Harbor, um, it's really beautiful. Instead of being in a courthouse, you know what I'm saying? Like sometimes I just sat back and thought and I was just laughing cause God is like, he always has a better plan. Like, you might think you have it all figured out. And don't don't unravel, which I have to tell myself this all the time, when things don't go as planned, because sometimes there's an even better plan. And maybe that delay is there for a reason. Pump your brakes. But we made it happen on that day, on our son's birthday. And he had such a great idea. Everything was perfect. So that was a Monday. We went on the 10th and got our tattoo ring. But he said once it um, scabs and the scab falls off, come back. 
go retouch it for free. Good looking. So that was my my wedding story time. Do you have a crazy wedding story? Like, I would describe my wedding day as racing against time because it was like so much anxiety. And you know, here's my husband right here. Hi, honey. Hey, babe, I need you to get saved. What is it? Because I'm on camera. So, okay, we're going with. Family business. Anyway. Um, next video should be coming out will be my big tattoo reveal. Um, I just have one more session left, guys which I'm probably not gonna do it this week because it's spring break. So I'm in, I'm, you know, the kids are out of school this week. So I really can't do any tattoo sessions right now. So I'm probably gonna schedule it for Monday, next Monday, so we can get this out of the way. So I can show you guys this bomb tattoo on my back. Anyway. That's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, please share your crazy wedding um, stories below. And stay tuned because I think the next video is gonna be my tattoo reveal. And we have so much more. You guys are on a journey with me. So I thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. Bye, binge face.